Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. The Word of God is a flaming fire, and a hammer shattering rocks. Come, Come and flame, and flame our, our lives, lives, and break the hardness of our hearts, so that our words, words may be faithful and true. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper than a two-edged sword. Come and penetrate our spirits, steering our passion for goodness and justice. The Word of God motivates us to action, so that we can be doers of the Word, and not hearers only. Come and energize us, so that your presence may inspire our daily decisions and actions. The Word of God will stand forever as all else passes away. Come and live with us as our source of unchanging truth and love. Amen. So let's go, let's get started with the first definition and the origin of the word. So modernism, of course you know it's a noun, you can find it in any dic dictionary, it refers to a modern character, tendencies or values. Adherence to or sympathy with what is modern. Catholics began accepting the whole range of speculative ideas and ideologies as established truths. And, as a consequence, altering, modifying, oftentimes changing Catholic belief to fit with those ideas. And that is very dangerous. Of course, the original intention was apostolic. Okay, we will touch all that was acceptable in modern. Hindi naman lahat ng modern ay masama, sinasabi. No. So we will just try to uh, uh, separate the masama from the mabuti, no? as if separating the, the wheat from the, from the weeds. No? But the Holy Spirit is given to the church. No. So Father George chose to serve as diocesan priest to help his born diocese and share his knowledge in defending the faith. Before he became a revert uh, to the Catholic Church, Father George entered 12 different religious sects and groups. So matinde, no? He also served in different ministries in the church, most especially in the Gagmay Kristuhanong Katilingban or the Basic Ecclesial community when he was a lay, a parochial vicar of St. Judeus Parish. He graduated his sacred Bachelor of Sacred Theology, major in Dogmatic Theology, Mania Cum Laude, under the guidance of his dogma professor, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagli of Manila. Please help me welcome our second speaker for today's event, Reverend Father George Sanchez Hanga. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning, Holy Scripture. The Holy Scriptures, say for example, in the letters of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 1, verses 6 up to 8. St. Paul says that even if we, or even an angel comes from heaven to gospel, which is different and contradict to the gospel that was being delivered to you by us, then let him be anatima. The modernists, they don't believe that the Holy Scripture is authored by God. That's the first error. They don't believe that the fundamental or primary author of the Holy Scripture, the written word of God, is God himself. That is one. And the second is, they don't believe and accept that the sacred tradition also comes from God. But they believe that Holy Scripture is only a collection of experiences. Like the sacred tradition. Only human experience without divine origin. Without divine Therefore, the Bible, the sacred scripture, the sacred tradition, only a collection of philosophical 
and religious experience of men. Academies and schools resound with new monstrous opinions which openly attacked the Catholic faith. One time, I was uh, in discussion with a person in favor of abortion. And you know, what did she tell me? That I, uh, She's a woman. And she told me, I was so shocked with the argument. This is my body. I can do what I want with my body. If I cut my hair short, I will cut it. If I want to cut my nails short, and it starts in the schools. And so that is the reason why our schools must be conquered for Christ. It is not only our parents and our families that must be conquered for Christ, even our schools. And I want to congratulate the CFD here in Davao for being so successful in inspiring young people to become Catholic faith defenders. So our faith and our defense will continue from one generation to the other through our young members. Then the minds of the youth are corrupted and a tremendous blow dealt to religion and perversion of morals is spread. One time, I was reading a Facebook account uh, post of a friend a young man, my former student in college. And then he said, I am gay. Just accept it. And all his friends said, others said, congratulations. Oh wow, what a revelation. I know the person, he is not gay. I know him. I was his confessor. I was his spiritual director. I told him, Hey boy, what you are doing is foul. You are very Catholic. You are an altar boy. You were an altar boy. And then, you are a devotee of the Blessed Virgin. And suddenly, you will you proclaim yourself gay in public and you are not? What do you mean by that? Oh, Father, it's a joke. Supposedly, the right answer running means. If you just imagine if 1,000 young men will declare in Facebook that they are gay, even if they are not, it is tantamount to saying being such is just okay. Actually, that is what being taught now in our schools. It is just okay. There is a man and a woman, and it is a matter of choice. Exactly like the words of the devil in the Garden of Eden in the form of a snake.